friends, Erica Tesla here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for deciding to click on this video. And if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you back today. I wanted to chat about the brand new ColourPop Precious Metals palette. And this is the 10 year birthday palette that ColourPop has put out. It's one of their mega palettes. As you can see, it has a mix of mattes and shimmers and you kind of have this like you know warm side and a cool side so you have a variety of looks that you could do with this palette and this is a look that i have on now and i will be inserting footage of that for you guys to see like how i created this look but it was really fun i have not been particularly interested in mega palettes for a while i kind of you know was collecting them a little bit at one point and then uh you know my my flame kind of you know withered a little bit and I got a little less excited about them but when I saw this one not that I needed another palette but I just really thought that they did a really nice job with this particular release I think this is a really pretty palette for um, makeup artists or people just getting into makeup and they just want something that has like a little bit of everything and if you like shimmery shadows this has some really beautiful options and again I like that essentially you can look at it and you can see it as like a half warm tone palette half cool tone palette and so it's very very versatile and the packaging is really really stunning it's got this beautiful metallic exterior and you have the shade names on the back here and to my knowledge these are all eye safe i know sometimes uh in the past ColourPop has put out palettes with like pigments that may not be rated totally eye safe by the fda so i think this one is pretty much eye safe but as with anything you know make sure you are comfortable with all of the shades but these are pretty basic shimmers and mattes and you have a couple of mattes with the shimmer shades or the little sparkly particles in them but uh, no glitter and I've noticed that for the most part ColourPop has not really been putting these uh, pressed glitters in their palettes I think a lot of people have moved away from that so this palette is currently available and along with the uh, palette there were six jelly much shadows I did order one of them so i ordered the pokemon collection and that is on its way to me i'm hoping to have that one by the end of this week and hopefully get a video up for you guys but i ordered one of the jelly much shadows because jelly much shadows and i we have a complicated relationship i like the idea of them but there are some products that you might like how they look and you think you're going to use it but i typically end up defaulting to the palettes. Um, but with that being said, I will add, I did get this Super Shock Shadow. This is called 10 out of 10. So this is their anniversary Super Shock Shadow. And I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys really quickly. It is a very serious, it is a very silvery metallic eyeshadow. And it's kind of bothering me to have to like swatch this because I wanted to keep the 10 in here, but I want you guys to also see how this shade looks. So it is like a beautiful bright silver and we're just gonna swatch that right here. It goes on really smooth. And it's really pretty. You've got like the shimmery, like a little bit of sparkliness to it. This is gonna be really really gorgeous is like an eyeshadow topper i'm sure you could probably build it up to be fully opaque but my thing with that is that because this formula is a little bit emollient you do have to think about the creasing and all that good stuff so i'm going to put up some swatches for you guys so you can see the swatches of the palette and then we're going to get into a look and then talk a little bit about some comparisons. I'm going to talk over the swatches of this palette. As you can see, we have this beautiful 30 pan eyeshadow palette and like the other mega palettes that ColourPop has put out, uh, you have a variety of shades here. So 
I did go row by row and then what ended up happening was I did run out of space on my arm guys I'm not even gonna lie so I ended up having to swatch the black shade let's do it at the very top so other than that these are in order so you have the shade polished feel the chemistry priceless lustrous 100% iced out which is a really pretty whitish whitish shimmer too much get your coin major element own it rare find rhodium strike gold so extra minding mine special that's on periodic palladium brass act invest in me not basic high value so metal or what down to earth you're solid lucky one my best asset total rock star and let's do it so those are the shades in the palette and again i think that they did a really lovely job balancing warm and cool tones mattes and shimmers i would say that if you are looking for a palette to add to your collection that has a lot of variety and you want a lot of bang for your buck this is a really wonderful option and i'm really happy with the look that i came up with i will say that as far as color pops formulas I have mattes in my collection that I do prefer. Uh, for example, like a Viseart palette matte is always an A++ for me. Um, I've really been enjoying the Sigma matte formula. And of course, Blend Bunny has fantastic matte formulas. The ColourPop matte formula is good. It's not the greatest, but it's good. And I think for the value that you get, it's definitely worth it, especially if you can get this on sale or promotion or use a creator's code. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the look that I did with this palette and we're going to follow up with a couple of palette comparisons.
Okay guys, so that was the look. As you can see, this was a very simple look. I just kind of floated around the palette and tried to just create a, as much of a cohesive look as possible. At some point, I would like to do a follow-up video where I do a couple more looks for you guys or I incorporate this into like a product video or a get ready with me because again, this is a palette that I would reach for to do like, you know, not just everyday looks, but also like some some glam looks, the shimmer, the the shimmers in here are really really stunning so with that being said i thought it would be kind of cool to do a couple of comparisons just like side by side for you guys to see the other options that are out there for you so i have with me the sigma ambiance palette and i'm gonna hold this one up next to the precious metals palette so as you can see the ambiance palette has some similarities to the warmer tones in the precious metals palette so for example i'm going to swatch this shade strike gold and then i have the shade sunflower here in the sigma palette So you have some similarities here. As you can see, the ColourPop one, the gold is brighter than the Sigma palette, but I would say as far as like some similarities, it's even though it's not an exact dupe, you do have something kind of comparable. I do really love this palette. So this is one to consider if you're looking for something maybe that's not as mega as a mega palette. I would say that is a palette to consider in terms of comparability to this palette, especially if you're just looking for something with the warmer tones. And then Sigma also recently released their cool neutral neutrals palette. So I do have swatches of this palette as well. And you can see that it's like a more curated version of the Precious Metals palette. So we have Precious Metals here and then we have Cool Neutrals. Um, cool Neutrals is a little bit more on the pricey side. This palette retails for $52 and you also get the double-sided brush. This palette is $35 and you get 30 shades and that's before any kind of promotions or discounts. So I would say in terms of like budget friendliness, ColourPop will win out. But in terms of the mattes that I prefer, I think Sigma edges out ColourPop in that respect. But I mean, honestly, like this palette really makes sense if you're trying to get more bang for your buck. So it really comes down to what style of palette do you like and then also this is obviously going to be like more compact so these two palettes they have some comparability as well okay so those are just a couple of palettes that i thought okay let me pull them out and just give you guys a couple of just very quick comparisons overall guys i think that this palette is super beautiful it's such a stunning addition to color pops repertoire i think it is very fitting for their 10 year anniversary to come out with a mega palette like this again the jelly mud shadows they didn't really move me to purchase them unfortunately uh, except for the one i think i bought the one that's like the rose gold shade and that's on its way to me so that might be the redemption the redemption jelly mud shadow that just like changes my whole life and makes me want to purchase them again but I have ended up decluttering most of them now I have been told by multiple sources that you just need to add a drop of water but I'm gonna say for me I am moving towards like less complicated makeup options if that makes sense so um, if it dries out I'm kind of trying to let it go I've been in the space where I'm trying to um, I don't want to say streamline because like I still love a good palette but then I know I use palettes versus other types of products that um, kind of end up languishing in my makeup collection and I'm trying to have a little bit more discipline about that. This palette is a really really beautiful option if you are a makeup artist and you are looking to get like some bang for your buck if you're somebody who is starting out with makeup and you want to play around with like shimmers I think what makes this nice is that these are neutral 
colors you have warm and cool neutral colors to create a variety of looks on yourself or others depending on how you plan to use this palette and so even though it's not the most like colorful like right it's not like a bright rainbow colorful palette uh, it has a lot of versatility and I think that these kind of palettes they always sell really well for that reason because like people know that they can come here and like find a matte shade like a neutral matte shade for their crease or like you know use this deeper these deeper shades for like liners or giving yourself more depth so my first impressions of this palette I think it's a really really beautiful palette I have no regrets picking it up I think it's one that I will definitely be enjoying using and and I think that you guys will have a lot of fun with this one too. Price point is great, the quality is very good and it's you know it's just pretty. It's really pretty. It's really really nicely done. As far as the super shock shadow that comes with this, I thought that this was cute. I th again, this was just like a gift with purchase. So Honestly, I'm not sure that I would have necessarily picked this up on my own. I have not really purchased Super Shock Shadows in a while, but I have no regrets on this. Like, I do really think that this is a nice, um, very easy, like, special occasion shadow. Or if you just feel like putting something shiny on your lids, and it's like, why not? And it's a beautiful, beautiful ultra glitter shade. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a lot of fun to use. So um, just to briefly talk about some of the other products that I use. I use my new Rare Beauty blush. This is the shade Truth. Really, really pretty shade on the cheeks. I think this is like the deepest shade. And I uh, liked like the first swipe it was like pretty pigmented, but I think it distributed nicely on the cheeks. And then I used Yum Rum from Fenty for my highlighter. This is her new um, light diffusing highlighter. I really, I'm like such a huge fan of this formula, especially uh, it's not like super glittery. It's super, super duper smooth. I think it's fantabulous. And then for mascara, I use the Beyond Mascara from City Beauty. I really, really like this one. I recently got a new Pacifica mascara to try. And I think I tried it out in like a previous video and I didn't love it. I didn't love it. But this one, this is fantastic. Like this Beyond Mascara, it really does do what it claims to do which is volumize now the treatment part i haven't really uh used this enough to prove those claims or to say that they work for me but i would just say like in general this is a really beautiful mascara and then i have on my bright lashes the half lash i've been such a huge fan of angela's lashes and these are in the style flutter and they're just so easy and i think if you're a beginner getting into lashes like start with the half lash like these are really really good so that was just to kind of get into some of the oh and then on my lips guys I can't forget I'm trying out the new um Win Beauty by Serena Williams lipstick this is in the shade Shout and this is the uh, max intensity featherweight lipstick and this is like the matte formula and I thought the eye look was neutral enough even though it's like a little more intense I felt pretty comfortable just like trying this bright color I think it's really really pretty so let me know what you guys think of this look let me know what you think of these products let me know if there's anything that you have picked up like have you guys picked up this palette are you interested in it I think it's really really pretty and I think you're gonna love it if you do end up picking it up like they did a really nice job with this one so good job, good job, because I haven't been excited about ColourPop purchases in a while. I do have another ColourPop order coming, which is like crazy because I feel like I haven't been this into ColourPop releases since at least like 2020, 2021. Like it's been a good few years since like I really was like on it with these like ColourPop releases. Well, one, they have been releasing less stuff than they used to there used to be like you could used to be able to set your calendar to a color pop release like you knew every thursday wednesday whatever their release days were there was going to be a color pop release and they have really slowed down and i don't think that's a bad thing because it's nice to build some excitement for some of the products that you have coming so this i was very excited to get in the mail and then i'm really looking forward to the pokemon collection i think it looks like it's gonna be so, so cute. So anyway, 
there will be some more on the horizon guys um it was just so fun to stop in and like film a video with you guys and chat with you guys about some of these new products and specifically this new ColourPop palette. Let me know if you want to see more with that. I am trying to up my short form content game a little bit, but things have been a little wild around here, just mom life, all of that good stuff. So with that being said, I'm so glad you decided to stop by, watch this video and hang out with me. I so appreciate your time. I appreciate you. And I really hope that you will like this video. If you enjoy content like this, please leave me a comment. I love it when you guys say hello. And please consider subscribing to my channel. It'd be awesome to have you join my community in my little corner of the internet where we chat about makeup. I like to keep it chill over here. And once again, I'm so appreciative of you. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.